Hey. Hello, hello. Hey, my favorite Canadian. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> you have so many Canadians. Did you like that? Did you like that? My favorite. Wow. I'm so good. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Hello, 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 June. Hello, hello. I hope you're feeling better. Can't oh, wait to hear all about the class you took. Hi, guys. What's going on? How are you guys? It's Tuesday. Welcome back. We are uh, starting our weekly bake along with Mar today. Manhattan. Manhattan. Hello. I think there's some good uh, cookie stores or supply stores yeah. there. Cake New, what's it called? Cake New York? I'm not Did sure, but I've seen photos and there's some New York, cake, New York cake, no? New York cake? Something like that. I'm sure yeah, you Google yeah. it. Google it, you'll find it. There's Hi, Karen. I think, uh, I don't know if it's you, Karen. I think I owe you an a email or a message. I did not forget or if Karen is uh, listening. Hi, Debbie. Welcome, everybody. So today... Um, we're switching around from holiday to because like, I mean, it's the big holiday season that's on, on the way. Um, I mean, well, in my defense, in my defense, I have prepared this for Friday. Okay. So this is good. I'm going to be doing pumpkin, pumpkins with, can you guys see? Yes, we can pumpkins see. With uh, snowman cutter, but today I'm doing Christmas. I'm going to start with, so Halloween is coming, guys, and Halloween is the, if you're not, if you haven't done cookies yet, Halloween is the time to start because, hey, it's monsters. If stuff's not perfect, it's okay. Then you get a little bit practice, you know, then you can do your Halloween cookies. Then you get ready for Thanksgiving. Again, more practice. Then Christmas, well, then you pull out all the stops. By then, you're a pro, and so you got to start with your Halloween cookies today. I, I'm not doing Halloween. Friday we'll do Halloween, but today we're jumping right to Christmas. But it's yeah. just to give you guys, you know, you can do it if you haven't done it yet. So let's just do a little roll call here. I see a bunch of people are popping on. Hello, Karen. Hi, Camille, Hello. Heather, Byron, thank you. Cynthia. So, Carlia, that's a not really nice name. I like that. South Africa. Hello. Trisha, Karen. Camille, hello, hello. Hi, Byron. Let us know what's going on. Did we start any, any Halloween? I think I asked last time, did, does South Africa do Halloween? Cute turkeys. I hate one I have. Yeah, Turk, it took, the turkey does not inspire me. Oh, yeah. I like the June's idea. I was looking at the, the Instagram just quickly, and Marlin was doing a little, uh, what's it called, ASMR? An unbox. Yeah, I did. It was I, fun. I, it was fun. I like all your new tools. So really if you just want to see it, I just posted on my story on Instagram me opening a box of some goodies that I got. <laughs> I actually left them upstairs. It's a lot of texture. It's not a cookie supply. They sell ceramics. And years ago, Martha Stewart posted that store. And she uh, posted a, a wood mat, that yellow wood mat there. there. Yeah. Oh. I have it too. I have it too, right? You have yeah. it as well? Have you used it? So you can see it's all textured mats. If you want to make cookies that have no icing, you can kind of like roll out and have. Never mind the mats. I really like the little rolling pins you got. Those look really neat. I, I like those for the basket weave because basket weave so long to pipe. If I can skip the piping and just do it right in the cookies. Hello, Thank April. You. Hello, Naomi. See, she's saying not really Halloween in South Africa. Hi, Lisa. I'll focus on harvest theme. Oh, I like that theme as well. Harvest, harvest theme. yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, that's also very nice. Yes, I am super excited. Do you guys want to see what uh, what I made for the collaboration for tomorrow? Oh, you're going to give them a peek? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My patrons actually already have a peek. Um, I, it was believed they can actually, uh, yeah, if you are a patron, you can see what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. With, uh, There's a collaboration with Amber. Really, really nice collaboration. 
Well, I'm going to go first just because my cookies are sitting here and mine are buttercream. And I know what you're doing, so I'm going first. Okay, so Lisa, so I'm going to do a big after Mari's done. So I'll go, I'll go get it while she's decorating so I don't interrupt her. Okay, so guys, I'm and working on buttercream and I tweaked Han's recipe. So if you've been watching me do the buttercream cookies, you know um, I've been using her recipe and you'll find it on her blog. I did add the supply list to the coffee shop and you'll find the link to her recipe in the supply list. And this is a recipe that's um, unlike anything I had previously made. It's very soft. Do you want to talk about your recipe? You mean the sour cream one? Yes. Yes, it is a sticky dough to work with. You have to use some flour, but uh, it does make tasty cookies. Soft, tasty, like almost like cakey-ish cookies. You know it's what? Not I, I was thinking like cake, but they do have a surface uh, on them that they, it's like crusted. It's not like you know exposed cake with a crumb or anything. Yes, like that. I, I was like, thinking it's a bit like a whoopie pie. Can't, eh. Oh, well, yeah, kind of wish. Yes. What I love them with, I have to say, is maple maple buttercream. Honestly. Oh. Yes, I have made them with maple buttercream, and it was really, really nice. So these, I replaced about a half a cup of the granulated sugar with brown sugar. Yeah. And I added micro chocolate chips. That sounds really good. Yeah. And so I just did a variation. And so we're going to decorate... Uh, a buttercream version. So I'm, I, if you've been following me for any period of time, you know, I'm royal icing all the way, but for the holidays, if you're having kind of like, you know, family time and stuff, buttercream is a little bit more forgiving and like, just, uh, I don't know. It's more like kid kind of family friendly. It squishes, squeezes out easier. It, anyway, if, it's just to offer you an option. If you like the royal icing, great. This is just a design option for you guys. So this is Ann Clark cutter. It's in the supply list. So I'm just adding is this upside down. No, I've got it right side up. The pom pom is right there. Okay. Oh, that's true. So here's the the pom pom. Now, if you're a beginner, a marker is just helpful to give you kind of just where stuff should go. You know. I'm and hungry. Too. Debbie's hungry. I'm 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 so hungry. And so you see here, I'm just adding a little bit of a guideline. Now, you don't have to do what this. Marker? Is this Americolor brand? Do you? This one is you, the Americolor. Do you like it on this kind of a cookie better than the fur, like the really firm? Do you think it's for? It's well, it, 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 my cookies are frozen, so they're a bit sticky. They're a oh, bit. Yeah, I froze them because I made them earlier. You know, it's like to prepare for the for the live and stuff. So I had made them in yes. advance. Yes, Heather, we have done a live stream of baking cookies that come out so perfectly. Yes, we have. If you look in, it's probably Jewel. Maybe we'll do another series before yeah. the holidays. It might be a good idea to do another one. So I baked on the perforated mat. And you do, you have, do you have your supply list? Yeah, it's. I didn't put the perforated mat though. I forgot about the perforated. Oh, it's in the coffee shop, Marlin's coffee shop. I'm gonna put the link in the um, in the below there, so you can. Um... Okay, so for Santa's fit, like, okay, so the thing that I did experiment with is working on a frozen cookie. I have to say, is very um, good if you're doing buttercream. Yes, you had mentioned it last last week. I remember now. It sets up the icing of the buttercream very nicely. And sometimes if your buttercream is a little overly soft because of your hand, well, this helps to kind of set it up if your cookie's frozen. And then you can just pop, when you're done, pop them back in the freezer until you want to serve them. It takes no time for a buttercream cookie to thaw out. It's not like a cake. And I'm just adding the face area here. And I'm working on the face first because it's in the middle of the cookie and so I'm, then I'll be less prone to messing it up. And here's a little artist palette. And this is a, a craft. That's, that is a tiny one, huh? It is. Hi, Julie. You're not late. You're just starting out. Thanks for coming. And Hello. so you're able with the tip here to get very like meticulous. You see here, I'm just smoothing it out. I mean, he's supposed to be an old man, but we don't want him that wrinkled. <laughs> So I'm just <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why she's swinging it out. We don't want to wrinkle the 
So you can see here, and I've got a paper towel here on the side and I'm just rubbing off the, and it's already kind of like setting up from the frozen cookie underneath. And now I'm switching my bag and I have no tip in, this is the tipless bags. And I'm just now adding the red and I'm leaving a little bit of room, you see here, this is the perimeter right here. And I'm increasing the pressure right here just to take the hat there. Hello to Libya. Hi. Sorry, I don't know who Nehru's. I hope that's your name. Debbie. Hi. Julie, what kind of cookie dough did you use? So we talked about this in the beginning. If you wanted to. It's, since it's your recipe, you can. Well, it's, a, it's a recipe from my blog. It's a soft sugar cookie dough recipe. It's a recipe that uses sour cream. It's a bit stickier to work with than traditional cutout cookie recipe but it produces really like soft cookie, almost like cakey cookie. It's really um, something like a store-bought, right? Like when you buy the soft- Exactly right. It's exactly like a store-bought, right. like it's thicker. It's, you know, um, the edges are not like super perfectly sharp, probably, right? I mean, they are, I mean, they're pretty good, but it's not like a, you know, 90 degrees there. So, so here yeah. you can see I've got everything kind of on that needs to be smoothed and everything else is kind of more um, flowy. So now I have a star Camille. tip. Thank you, Camille. And right here I'm starting so that I've left exactly the amount of a piping tip on either side of the head here. And I'm just squeezing, wiggling. And then I'm releasing as I know I'm going to want to taper at the end. I release. And again here, you can just do a little wiggle. And I'm basically filling in the beard area here. So pretty. Ahoy, Veronica. I just wanted to say hello to someone. She's from Slovakia. Oh. And then you see here, the whole beard is done. That was pretty quick. And was now, very, quick. very, 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 very quick. For the hat, I'm doing a circular motion now here. The size of this tip? It's 18. 18, yeah, that, that is a really nice tip. 18. I find it's really nice for decorating if a buttercream you're doing. Here, a little swirl for the pom pom. Okay. And now I'm going to find the middle, kind of you just guess it, and I'm squeezing. And as I know I want to end, I release and I'm pulling down to create his little mustache. Now I'm gonna do the nose in icing, but this would be a great one for the jelly bean or a gumdrop. Yes, your jelly bean. I like the, the ones you showed in the beginning, the way you did the mustache differently, it really changes like their character. Oh yeah, if you make, yeah. Like, like you make it like long straight, you know, or, or make it um, more horiz like horizontally. So there's his little nose. And again, you can come in if you want just to kind of like take the peak out so that he doesn't have a carrot nose, not a snowman. And now I've got my black icing and you can use pearls or you can color your icing and I'm just adding two little dots you, here. Uh, you, you need a lot of food coloring when you are using the buttercream? Um, this was, I used up my Halloween icing from the other day. So I darkened up, I think my black or my gray and, and then was, orange you can just add um red and make make red right if you had orange i think for the for do you can you you can it's american buttercream right so you can yeah. freeze it yes oh yeah it freezes yeah, really so you well. can use you if you make um halloween cookies you can freeze the leftover and then use it because it's only a couple months and it will last for a couple months right in the freezer so you can yes reuse it That's and great. if you freeze them and I buy donut paper. And so you freeze them, single layer, freeze the them. Donut paper. It's like a, okay. it's like really tissue paper with a bit of wax on it. Oh. Very thin and inexpensive. That's the big one is that it's oh, not. It's called paper. donut paper. Donut paper. And so when you freeze them flat, like single layer, then you can kind of stack them after with the donut paper. You know, so it's like you're, you're, once they're frozen, they're less prone to squishing, but make sure you separate them when they thaw out. So I have, I'm just going to do another one and then to just show you guys again, and then we'll pass yes, the baton. Please, please do. 
So you see here, these lines are very helpful. It's a bit of a random shape, you know? So then just the half circle. And you can add other things to Santa. Santa doesn't have to be, you could do a dog, you could do, you know, you can have it be a different uh, thing wearing a Santa hat. You could do a uh, Jack Skellington for Halloween. So now I'm just doing that face again. And I'm doing pink because that's what I had, but you can make the face color whatever you want. I'm just filling in the area, which I'm gonna smooth out. My cookies are still pretty chilled. So it, it does help the buttercream having a cold surface. It's like working, I guess, on a cold cake. Oh, they call them bakery tissues also, Cheryl says. Oh, there. Shana, Shona. I think they sell them like in a thousand. Paper at Sam's Club in Dallas, Dallas. So Sam's Club and Sam's Club, or maybe uh, like a different like Costco or BJ's, maybe have them as well. Well, I bought them at a, like a restaurant supply place. So now I'm doing the hat. I like to stay a bit away from the edge with the buttercream. I find that uh, that's where it's more prone to getting dinged. Yes. And I mean, it does take a little bit more time to smooth out the, the icing like here, but it's not that long. It the beard is so fast that you catch up on your, on your time, you know? Are you then wiping it into a tissue? Yeah, I've got my paper towel here and I'm just rubbing the palette knife down mm -hmm. to get the, the remnants off. So there. Oh yeah, Cheryl. Things change right after the COVID or before uh, or during the COVID. And now here I'm just filling in right by the face, taking it down. Doing a little wiggly motion. And you see, you quickly fill in the beard area. It's pretty fast. There. Diana, no, she's using a soft cookie cookie recipe with chocolate chips. It's a yeah. my, my blog, sour cream, soft, uh, uh, soft uh, cutout cookies. And now a circular motion for the little hat trim and the pom poms a circle, like a cupcake swirl. Find the middle, find the middle here, and then just squeeze and pull down to create your little mustache. And you see, if you leave a little bit, you can see the mouth there, you see? Yes. Cute little tail. Really cute. And I'm piping the nose, but you can use candy for the nose, so just a little dot. Maybe you can tell us in the comments what you wish from Santa this year. It's that time of the year. To write their letters no let me tell you it's not so much a thing as a just life back to normal i'd like and now a little dot for the eyes and there he is you see how quickly that came together do you have the other one there all done i'll bring them all i have four whoops yeah i like that they are all different even though they're same, but because of the mustache, they're different. You know what I, you know, like. Yes. Uh, no more COVID. Yes. I so that's it. You see, so my tray is, is chill because that was in the freezer as well. So then you just work on one and you can pop it back on the tray and then they're still even frozen and you throw them back in the freezer. You, they don't even have time to thaw out. And then you can, um, just put them back in the freezer and you'll have them for your, you know, occasion. And you should put them in a box, ideally. I don't know if the box that I used for Amber's birthday thing would work. I think it's not quite big enough. Well, maybe. Ah, it's not horrible. This was really not expensive, these ones. So it's, I mean, it's not bad if you're making is it, sold, it. Is it sold as a bakery box or what is it sold as? It's like, it's like for hamburgers or for oh, salad yeah. or. Yeah, that's true. So, but you can use it for anything. Yeah. 
it's actually made of um like a it's like a cardboard so it's more environmental than a clear you know plastic it's like a like paper mm -hmm. yes yeah but, uh, i don't know if i had it inside out it says thank you there no i can't anyway so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed that it's something different and it would be a similar kind of concept if you were doing royal icing if you wanted the textured beer but then it gets a little bit harder it's a completely different culinary experience eating a buttercream cookie and eating a royal icing cookie right yes so oh louise i hope you'll get the airbrush for christmas since you've been extra good <laughs> yeah have you been good all right, guys, so I'm going to quickly show you a little sneak peek. You know how much I love making gingerbread houses, but I've never really made fall. I'm just going to lift it up, fall gingerbread house. And uh, we've been, this is our second uh, fall here in Spain. And I have to say, despite the beautiful weather and the climate, I do miss the fall and the pumpkins and the leaves and, and all of that. So I created this little, um, like a farmhouse, you know, Oh, here, let me switch you. Hold on. Oh, sorry. There you go. So this is actually going to be uh, out on my YouTube channel with all the details tomorrow. So uh, if you make this, you need that plank that you have it on because that also, I have to say, adds, it to, adds to the right. It adds to the whole mood. It, it does kind of like, yes. And so uh, on the back here, I'll show you quickly. These are the sprinkles from Wilton. So if you can now see, I'm sure they are probably coming up with all the fall stuff. So um, I just used, I don't have them here on hand, but they are really nice um, leaf sprinkles. And I also use them on the front here. For your little wreath. And for the for the back, for the walls, I used, uh, I've never done this technique. I mean, I've done the shingles where I, um, had broken up realizing um but this is actually stencil that i used and i love that look you know so you can learn all about it tomorrow and i used my recipe from the blog to make the pieces it's construction gingerbread dough and that recipe alone makes about three of these so you can oh yeah three it's a big recipe it's it's quite a big recipe i'm going to oh that was something else <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it was, all right. Yes. All right. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to slide. So from fall, now we're going to Christmas. We're going to Christmas. Oh, I started Christmas. You went to fall. Now back to Christmas. Go back to Christmas. Now, don't forget that on Friday, oh, let me bring this up. Okay. On Friday, I'm going to be doing these. So I wanted to just show you. Um, you don't know what necessarily needs special cutters. This is a snowman cutter. And look how, I mean, it's going to work, hopefully, this is just a rough sketch. But I'm thinking, like, the pumpkins could be even different colors, and the mouth could be black or purple, you know. And I'm going to try to do a little um, outline with uh, with yellow there. All right, so that, that was a little bit of Halloween, right? So is, your I'm cutter, to... is your cutter a, a big one? No, 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 no. This is actually, I believe this is an Clark cutter, I have to say. I think. But yeah, I do have a giant cutter. I mean, I have like I have a giant cutter, and if you have a giant cutter, what would really be nice? You use a small cutter like there. They they have different cutters, but you probably have those too, like small cutters to cut out the mouth, and then maybe do a color. I mean, I'm getting sidetracked here. Let's Infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities. So here, can you guys guess what I'm gonna be making? It's definitely like Christmas theme. And I'm making these for my uh, gingerbread house. So um, traditional colors for this, it's red. It's red and there's flower. Normally red, she's doing it pink. And I'm doing it pink just because, doing? hell, I can do whatever I want, right? So <laughs> I'm doing it pink. And I actually looked up, there are pink ones as well. Yeah. But what's, yes. really, what's really interesting, because I was looking, um, how many petals does Poinsettia. Yes, Kim, that's correct. How many petals does Poinsettia have? And Poinsettia doesn't have petals. Apparently, it does not have petals. It's uh, the petals. It's something that it, it like whatever. It started off as a petal, but it's not a petal. It's their <laughs> leaf. 
I, I didn't really say, I was like, okay, so I'm looking at how many pedals it has, but it said it doesn't have pedals. So we learned something new today. All right. So I've got here my two shades of pink, and this is stiff foil icing, both of these. You can use a, a leaf tip. I didn't uh, bother. I just cut both of them into a V shape. When you're doing that, you want to flatten your bag. So the seam of the bag is on the side, okay? And then I like to cut it first straight. Oh, what? The... <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> um, and then you cut straight across like that. So you have basically created two corners, and you can use those to kind of create the V shape with the scissors. I find that's easier when starting uh, as opposed to starting with a tip. Am I making myself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's for, it was for Amber actually <laughs> for Friday. I don't really do nail polish much, but this one is sticking around for whatever reason because I need to do more dishes <laughs> for it to fall. It. All right, so I'm using two sheets of pink, and this is green and um, yellow, obviously. And this is a bit uh, more fluid, like piping consistency or somewhere around there. They're very um, cheery Christmas colors. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you mean are you being sarcastic no i'm saying like it's like it looks like a spring palette to me so it's nice you know it's like it's um, not... spring palette really no well it's pink <laughs> pink is my favorite color <laughs> pink yellow and green it looks like yes yeah, well, yes it does yes it does i suppose it does a little bit but i'm going to use it because i figured it 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 doesn't um well there's no the rules there's there are no rules and when you look there is a pink poinsettia there is what i was going to actually do here is what i made here earlier um you let it dry and then you could actually paint the edges with silver to give it a bit more like festive look you know so you can or or you could do gold if you prefer gold well, the great thing about this is that they can be made so much in advance. So if you do want to do the gold detailing or paint, whatever, you can do it a little yes, bit. Absolutely. So these guys um, that we are making, these guys, these flowers I'm making today, they are basically royal icing transfers, okay? And so the whole idea is that you pipe the flower, let it dry, and then I made this maybe two, hour, two hours ago, so I don't know. Yeah, okay, so it's partially... It's almost dry underneath there, but I'm gonna take a scribe here to show you. It's not, you can see, can you see? Like it's not completely dry there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so ideally you wanna let it dry overnight and then you can remove it. I would probably paint it onto the parchment. I wouldn't remove it and then paint it because it's easier to handle. You can just hold it like this and then paint. As opposed to once this is loose, it's kind of like, oh, it's moving and you know, you're gonna have a hard time with it. You could always just leave them on the parchment as you are storing them. You don't have to remove them at all. You just store them on the parchment, um, layered between between uh, um, a paper towel or something, not the yes, paper towel and um, yes, spring. Okay, well, I'm gonna surprise you with my ginger, uh, gingerbread house for Christmas then. I also have some parchment squares here, okay? So I'm gonna start. And a flower nail. Okay, I like to make my flowers on the flower nail. Um, I just find it works for me, but if you prefer, Marlene has done her hibiscus on a sheet and you don't use a flower nail, correct? Well, Lee, I do use a flower nail. It's just, I think that the sheet uh, is just if you're, you know, you need to make a lot of something, you know, like it just, uh, it's more for that, that I yeah. use the sheet, you know? Yeah. But I mean, I just, I just struggle with the sheet. That's what I'm trying to say. Like for me, it's just easier to make them with the flower nail. I have a, I don't know if it's the wrist or the pose, like how I have to sometimes, like you have to maneuver around it so you don't mess it up. Maybe, maybe on a smaller scale. I don't know. Well, anyway. So that's just how I operate. But you find your own way and you do it the way you, exactly. you, you are the most uh, uh, productive, I would say. You're the boss in your own kitchen. Yes. Now, notice I put a lot of icing in my bag. Ideally, um, I should have put less. Uh, I don't know if you can see how much, but it's a lot. You see how much that is? 
Preferably, if you're just starting out piping these, it's better to use a bag with filled with less icing because it's harder to kind of like pipe. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to kind of Amber does this a lot. So I tried it and it actually does work. So you you are basically just using this portion and you're pushing that out, okay? So make sure that the bag is well sealed if you do this. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, do make sure that the bag is well sealed. Bring it down a bit. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, sorry. I'm all chatty today. So I'm just mentioning at Global Belly, they still are running that Labor Day sale. So the kits are still 20% off if you guys want to stock up now for your holiday uh, baking. You haven't started there's some great um, kits there to uh kind of establish your toolkit oh yeah i just released a lot of halloween kits and you also have quite a few uh fall also you have really nice uh, um coffee mug is it a co like coffee mug right coffee mug with the pumpkin pie oh yeah the latte the takeaway oh, latte. sorry sorry so now I'm just gonna do green because the, the pink points that the other ones I saw, they had um, um, like it was a yellow enclosed in the green kind of like a pocket that was the center. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. You can also use sprinkles if you feel like it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So, so you're telling me that that's not a flower, that's leaves. That's, uh, well, look it up, guys. I mean, like I said, this is a, also an educational episode. So you can look it up. Poinsettia doesn't have petals. Look it up. I'm not lying. I looked it up like three or four times. Like, this is not for real. Yeah, so, it matches my top. You, you, you. Uh... Yeah, I know. I told you, you're my favorite Canadian. Woohoo! <laughs> now, obviously, this is a bit like if you're using sprinkles, I would, I would suggest that you let the outer pedals i'm gonna call it pedals because they are pedals uh, dry and then you do the you know you add the green and and um, um sprinkles but you can use it with you can use also yellow burl icing instead all right let's do another one so for processing look i'm just thinking in my head if you were to do your green dot first dip it in the yellow sprinkles okay let's try and, and then you you wouldn't have to handle the sprinkles then you could just add all your petals around the green dot. Would that work? Let's try it. The only thing is like these are quite big. So let me just, this is from the little pouch. And if you've seen these guys, these are great. These are about a dollar a piece. Or maybe yeah, like those little Wilton baggies are wonderful. Oh, the centers are flowers. Oh, that would make sense. You mean the centers, oh, I see. Okay. The little pollen-y things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little <laughs> okay, can you somebody tell us about that, the little pollen-y things? <laughs> Do you remember the last week's lesson, Mark, about the, the truck? Yes, yes, we learned so much last time. So I did flatten it a little bit. Now, you see, like, it's, uh, these are quite big, so I, I like the way it looks. It looks um, very kind oh, of... Okay. Let's see, I haven't tried it this way. This is not uh, the usual way I make it, but let's see. The only way you learn is by trying, right? Mm-hmm. Wow, my, my icing is a bit stiff, I feel. Poinsettia always makes me think of my grandmother. So my grandmother was an extremely frugal woman, as many people from that generation, you know, are, were. And so she had gotten a poinsettia for Christmas at one year. And so she, of course, didn't, you know, she saved it past Christmas. And she really had a green thumb. The thing was higher, like it was the size of a tree. It was huge. In, her, in, a, in a power pack? Yeah. She had it. It was, it was huge. And, and, and it seemed like it was always in bloom. She was, and I've had them. They always die. You had what? You 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 took it 
And it does. Well, but I, like people have given them, given them to me, you know, over the years, and they always die. Like I can't keep it alive at all. Well, it's because you love them too much. You, oh, probably, that must be it. you probably water it too much, you know, and then it hurts. And you need those glasses. Hey, Heather, she needs here. I'm gonna put my glasses on. Me, I need the glasses. Do you? Do you They're see my me? glasses? <laughs> here, I'll show you guys oh, my glasses. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you look like you're gonna perform a surgery really soon. <laughs> Who those are, are for? Those are for, are you really, on? those are for fine detail. Well, do I? Do I look like I struggle? Like I feel like oh, it's, it's very detailed, meticulous work. Yes, yes, yes. No, we like I sometimes you have to take them off. I have to say my icing is a bit big. I don't know what happened, but so when it's big, it's best to kind of move slowly so you get the point. So June Googled it. The leaves uh, for the poinsettia is a brax. Brax. Hello, singer <laughs> of song sixty one. In Newfoundland. I visited Newfoundland a few years ago. I love Newfoundland. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It sounded familiar. It's a hot look. Yes, it is. What's a hot look? My glasses. Diana, you know those glasses are 18 bucks on Amazon. Really affordable, and I have to say I like them. Hello, Wen. Hello, hello. It is beautiful. We were there during this fish. Um, I Gosh, I can't even remember these little fish. They were doing their, uh, when they lay their eggs on the beaches. We were there for that. So we saw the whales coming in and, and feasting on oh, yes, it. I remember that. that. I remember you, yes. Must have been really nice. It was maybe three years it wasn't ago. so nice for the fish, but the whales were having a good time. Well, that's the circle of life, I suppose. Yes. Right? Hello, Alejandra. Alejandra. Alejandra? Or Ale I think that's how we pronounce it because there's Alejandro and so she's Alejandra. Alejandro. You just switch out the last letter. Hey Mary. Hello, hello. It's like in Italian names too. You have um, Mario and Maria or you know. Maria is Italian? Well, Mary is kind of like more, and then Maria. I think it's like you hear that Maria in, uh, to me, it's Italian ish. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not very good with names. Hello, Gemma. These are quite small, but you can make them. I'm going to try to be, make a make few that are bigger because this is like so, so tiny. I don't know why I always have to make tiny things. It's a curse. Oh, now you're piping your dots. Yeah, I thought it's faster. I do like the sprinkles, but I wish they were a bit, uh, a bit smaller, I have to say. Okay. Yeah, they, they sell a limited amount of cut. Like they have the micro sprinkles for white. Have you ever seen those? The white micro non pareil? CK makes them. I do like the micros. Yeah. I like the little ripple there. Yeah, so what I'm doing, I'm just going back, at, like up and down with the tip, with the piping bag. We've seen that technique on the mermaid tails often. Yes. Sanding sugar, it would look, I'm sure, very nice with the sanding sugar. If I had some on my hand, I would uh, just dip it. Are you downstairs in the studio? Yes, I am. But I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> <laughs> Does that surprise you? I'm so honest. Very nice. I, I, could dip the center. I could dip the center, I guess. 
Come down, bring the, your hand down a bit. Oh, sorry. I'm using just a different color just to bring it out. Have, so it has yes, a yes, and it's, it is very, very nice. So if you guys are any of you are beginners, royal icing transfers are a great way to uh, practice because you don't have the pressure of the cookies there. You can just kind of make the transfers and if they work out, well, you save them for your cookie projects and if they don't, well, you can dispose of them. What you can also do, you can also, and where's the paper? Here it is. I think the nopare are just, the, the description is just that they're small spheres. They come in all kinds of colors. You can do the three and then you'll pipe the next three on top, kind of. And that will give it a bit more height. Although now it doesn't look like a point does it? But it is very pretty, whatever it is. I mean, the, yeah, when you look at the point sepia, it's very difficult. Like some of them have the, le the leaves are not in any particular shape at, when as they are building up, you know? Like you look at it, it's almost like random. Yes, absolutely. You could also make the center ahead of time. I've, I've done that many times and it works really, really well. For uh, for daisies it does. I don't know if it would work for this particular one, but I think it, I mean, it would just make it make it easier. You make, you pipe the centers, like Heather said, and you, you dust it all with either non perils or sprinkles or whatever, and then you let it dry. And it's an, it's an actual, another transfer, like let's say this is a transfer. Let's, let me just grab this. I do have some centers. Maybe I will get up and like finally, like, well, the thing about the centers is them you can do on a sheet pretty easily. Yeah, my center, so right? Yeah. You can pipe a sheet full of them, just coat it all with the non pareil, let them dry. And if you're if you're you know you have a full time job and this is just a hobby, well then you can kind of break up your steps a little bit more and have it be more manageable. All right, so here's my little stash. So I've got some. Well, these are quite big. I mean, I'm not gonna. Wow, these are quite big. Let me see what I have here. Um, so, oh. Joanne's asking, Han, for your sunflowers, do you make your middles in advance for that? For the sunflowers? No, here are the sunflowers. Essentially, like when you look at it, this is a sunflower. So, it's, just, it's a pretty much the same technique, but the, the sunflowers have more petals, you see, like or leaves or whatever you want to call them. It is done with a leaf tip as well, sunflowers, you see? But I don't do, I tried making the centers ahead of time, but I, I wasn't loving the look, I have to say. Mm. It was kind of like it was too disconnected or something. Like I did these, this is, I did transfers. These, I don't know if you can see, these are transfers um, with a star tip, mm. see? And then I used it here. I don't know. You tell me. Do you like it? Do you not like? It? I mean, it's. I feel like it needs to be pushed more because sunflower. When you look at the sunflower, I feel like the center is more like it's nested inside, and then you have the petals. No. Yeah, it's But I'm looking at the ones that are there on the count. You know what I'm seeing is a chocolate M and M there. Yes, this is yes, and I've done yes, I've done these. Uh, um, this could be also used on a gingerbread house, and I might actually use this on this one because these are really nice. Um, Oh, those could be a replacement for the Neko wafers. And what are they called? Neko, Nico? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I don't know. It's like the wafer, you know, for the roof that you see the classic oh, gingerbread house, those rainbow. Yeah, so you can, yeah, and you can see these are pretty flat. Now, I have the same, and then I use them actually to make these little flowers. So the, basically you're, you're making one realizing transfer, one transfer, but you're using a transfer that is already dry to kind of uh, go yeah, it's a two the step process. Yeah, two step process, okay? So if you have time, you can make your centers ahead of time. And so, then Gemma, no, it's a royal icing dot. The brown there, that's not a chocolate. It's just a royal icing dot she made. Yes. It's just uh, that oh, I've got some small one here. Let's see. Anne likes your textured uh, middle with the star tip. Oh, yeah? 
It, I mean, it's different. It just, just like, yeah, you have to kind of play with it to see if you like it or not. Aaron likes the jimmies, the brown jimmies. We often see that. Brown jimmies. I don't have brown jimmies. No, but I. I oh, yes, I do have brown. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, for the center of the, the sunflower. Yes. These are so small, though. Now, like, look at my hand. I mean, these are quite small. You know, these are tiny, tiny. So the, the jimmies would be kind of very. Now on a cupcake, I think it will be fine. I do like the texture of the jimmies, I have to say. I wish there were brown on pearls. I don't think there are. So let me, okay, let's try. Let's no, I've never try. seen it. No, no, okay. Have you seen brown? I don't like this one. No. Brown? I, I don't recall seeing brown on I guess pearls. you could do black, like black and this. I've seen people color the non pearls, but I don't know how does that work, whether do they bleed then, you know? Yeah, because as soon as they get wet, they would get like clump up and dry. Exactly. Just be a big exactly. mess. So I don't know. I guess you know what you could do? You could airbrush them. Once you're done, whatever you want to do. Let's say you're doing that. That's true. Because if you were to do them in yellow and airbrush them in brown, you could not cover it completely. And so then you'd get like a bit of a shading, you know, like instead of having... Let me put some green in there, and then I'll press There's it chocolate no pareil, Debbie. You've seen it? Powdered food color. Yeah, then they wouldn't get wet. That's a good uh, suggestion. I don't know if it reminds me of Monsetia, though. This doesn't, it, it almost looks like, what am I doing wrong now? It almost looks like um, uh, Daisy. Thank you, Araceli. Thank you. So I do have to say I like the two layer ones the best. A brown fine tip edible marker. I guess you could, uh, you know, kind of uh, add some details to your middles. You're too high, a little bit lower. Good. All right, so I'll do one more. Oops, I guess not. This one is a bit thicker for whatever reason. Etsy sells brown no pareil. Yeah. I've never seen them. Never. Cocoa powder. I've not found that cocoa powder adheres very well in my experiments. Walmart carries brown sprinkles. I bought these actually. These are chocolate, actual chocolate sprinkles. These. Oh, you have the, the fairy bread. And these are really yeah, do something. I I have I have their, they have a Scandinavian store here, and they I mean they have the assortment of sprinkles for for their fairy bread. I mean they sell it in pounds. Seriously, it's like the the like it's a cake, correct? The fairy bread. Well, this is bread, I think. No, it looks. Can you show me the picture? It looks like the yeah. It's just like yeah, yeah. yeah it's like bread, and then you like it's very traditional. I think for I don't know. Um, which uh, Scandinavian country? Mm. But they're made with this is real chocolate. Yes, I agree, Heather. Yes, There's just I think just the amount of petals is different. I, I mean, I'm using six for the poinsettia, and then my sunflowers are eight petals. So I mean, it's the, the idea is the same, correct? Stipple, yes. Cheryl su suggesting stippling the middles. Brown no pare on Etsy. Oh, yes, right, yes, that's what I found out today that, that Poinsettia doesn't have petals. Interesting, Weirdly, huh? Interesting for me, actually, it was weird, but I did not know that. Falls from toast. Well, I was actually contemplating making a vanilla, like, um, this cake in a whole pan. We need to do that because they have, uh, yeah, um, like, how much is it? Is it like one kilo or one pound? Uh, 380 grams. Yeah, so it's, it's very popular. I got it at, like, it's kind of like a store that's, um, it's like a Greek store. Greek store? Yeah. So here it helps. So yeah, so that's it from me. I didn't really prepare anything special, but 
I'm going to work on these. I think my icing is a bit thick because I, um, I do like the, the, the layered ones. So for those, I use light pink and then I add a set of racks, you know, and I'll use it on my gingerbread house. I don't care what anyone says if it looks like spring like. Well, the thing is, is um, the gingerbread, like, first of all, cookie decorating at your house. I mean, you can do stuff any which way you want, right? I have my uh, silver here because I would then paint the, I think it's going to look really nice. If I paint the edges with silver, it will look really nice. And then maybe I'll add like um, these guys around the house to go with like a silver theme or I'll make gold. Because these are uh, also non paroles that I used, and they are edible. These are not like the ones. Those are from Spain, though, eh? You bought them at locally? No, no, no. These are actually. Um, CK? Yes. Oh, yeah. they, they come in gold, pink, and silver. Oh, and very they're, nice. They are really nice. They, they do have a little bit of luster to them. They are not as lustrous as these guys. Although these guys are also, these are fully edible. And I bought- They're Gorgeous, I love those. I bought this year, I actually tried them. They, are, they taste like sugar. There is no um, spaghetti inside of these. They call you have a spaghetti, the, not, the, I don't yeah. think I'd like that. Sugar strands, metallic silver. So they, they uh, so these are really great, but yeah, all right. So yeah. I can't even say it, Camille, but you can see it there. It's the Y has like dots on top, so I don't know. You'd have to, I guess, go on the hunt for it, but I don't know what. what uh, I didn't get them online. Like I say, I got them at my local uh, kind of ethnic store that has all kinds of stuff for. Uh, it's fun, isn't it, to go to a like a um, different. Uh store and, and looking at the things that well, I, I find it great that you know people that immigrate here can still find the thing you know like we love certain things that they can still get their favorite whatever that they like you know yes absolutely and so that store carries all their special kind of different products that that uh, everybody has their favorites that they're you know accustomed to so this store has, and I like, I'll buy different things. I don't, I can't even read what it says, but I'm just like, oh, I'm curious what it tastes like. You don't translate. I'm like the, I'm terrible. I am like, I'm, I'm standing with a box of sprinkles and I'm like, oh, Google Translate, like, what's this? What's that? Oh, yeah. yeah well, the yeah. one yeah. that I, I almost got in trouble one time because, I mean, oh, it was beautiful yeah. little candies all wrapped up. So pretty. Looks so pretty. And then I did happen to read that day, and inside of this beautiful packaging was actually dehydrated fish. So I didn't take oh. that one. Okay, sorry, thanks, no. Oh, really, <laughs> dehydrated fish. Yes, Debbie, I absolutely agree. We can't always speak the same language, but we speak cookies. Yes. Yes, exactly, right. Totally. I always think food connects people in general. It's something that, you know, we all like, I mean, I like to eat, but every, you know, like you sit at the table and you, you don't necessarily have to know the language and you kind of, you know. Get well, it's also a great kind of uh, sort of travel, right? You get to a little bit go into some, like if you're going to a restaurant, maybe it serves, uh, you know, you can try different things, gets you out of your bubble a little bit without traveling like officially on a plane. I don't know if I'm understanding, Diana, what you mean. Sorry. Yes, you can use leftover icing to make sprinkles. Absolutely, yes. I have done that many times, but uh, not always have time to pipe the lines. I guess she's saying like buttering the bag. Oh, not before icing. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend them using butter and... Uh, no, no, I, buttering the bag is a technique where you butter oh. the bag with a darker color, for example. Oh, you mean striping. Okay, I didn't know. Ah, oh, do you, you... It's called buttering? Uh, stripe, I use stri term striping. Oh, whatever. Anyway. You learn so many things. Brags, buttering. Eh, this is... Eh? The learning channel. 
Yes, powdered sugar here is very expensive. It's still giving me a hard time, even the expensive one. It uh, cl comes up like I've never seen before. And I, I regret one thing, guys, that I don't have a powdered sugar sifter. You know, the one, the, the, the cranking one? Mm -hmm. I never needed one. Now it will be really useful because I have to like sift it. When it comes out of the bag, I have to show maybe next time on live how it comes out of the bag. It's uh, it looks like little little rocks. Little and rocks. so, yeah. is it like a the sifter you're talking about? Is it like a um, like a potato ricer? Oh, uh, uh, potato ricer. Yeah, you potato mean, ricer. Potato ricer did you, you mean the? I suppose no, no, no. The sifter, powdered sugar sifter. It's a fun, like a fun, it looks like a like a chimney. You know. Oh. I've and never seen it. That there is like a um, sieve on the bottom, mm -hmm. and then you put it in, and it inside, like outside, is like a cranking mechanism, and you just boom, boom, and it comes out uh, through, through the bottom. It adds a very labor intensive. Yeah, that's a great question. Marlin is more than uh, excited to answer your question. What? Which one? Oh. Um, I uh, just put them in lipstick uh, storage. It's like a lipstick holder. Brilliant idea, isn't it? It works so well. You can get a big tower of it or smaller ones that are, you know, like steps and stuff. So the lipstick is actually exactly the size of a um, of those little bottles. Yes, I also use a mesh trainer, but. But when I have to sift three kilos of, and I'll show you next time, I promise I will show you what's coming out of the bag that I have to sift. It's not uh, easy to sift, I have to say. You have to, I have to use a spatula to push it kind of through. Yeah. What if you pulse it in your food processor? And then I have to clean the food processor. The, the problem is uh, also it's the, I, I don't know why some of the powdered sugar I get I, I sift it and there is so much of it in the air. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not sure why the other brand doesn't do it, but one or two brands I've tried, I mean, I'm sifting it or I'm just going to like mix it and there is like an explosion of powder, smoke, powdered sugar smoke or whatever. So it's quite uh, mm. maybe it's a large round sift to 12 inch with a fine screen. It works fairly quickly. Hmm. Okay, guys, thank you so much for letting us, you know, it, we always learn something new. Well, the thing is that I've learned, especially with you moving to Spain, is really the level of difference in ingredients. You know, people are working with things, you know, very different, like trying to follow the same recipes, but working with very different ingredients. Yes, Diana, you can absolutely do that. I've done that with, if you watch, I have a live video and also tutorial on how to make succulents and I and I use this uh, technique there where you use uh, two or three, sometimes even three different colors to or gradient colors to achieve the look of the petal or flowers or succulents. And it all comes out uh, through, through one, one open tip. So it does look uh, a bit more natural, I have to say. Um, we take our shipping internationally for granted here in North America. It's a little more complicated in, in Spain from what she's learned, eh, Han? Yes. Time to make those Santa cook cookies in pumpkin shape. Oh, that will be a challenge for you. Well, I did them. I did them. There's a global belly kit uh, if you want to see the pumpkin uh, buttercream version. Do you? Hey, I'm sorry, what? Do you have it here? Is there a picture here? Uh, no, but they're in the freezer here. Our no, the kit is there, actually. It, it is there, the picture. Hold on a second. It's, um, you're <laughs> looking it away. It's at the bottom there. Oh, let me take the, okay. okay. But those are basically the similar technique with um, the buttercream there in the bottom uh, left. And um, the, pink, the purple. Uh, the, yeah, and that video is on my Facebook. I had posted that the fast instrumental kind of uh, yes. version. So yeah. Percent as well. It's a different beard. Yeah. Well, thanks uh, everybody. Friday, like I said, I'm gonna be doing. Um, today was unexpected. I didn't have a lot of time to prepare. I'll be honest. So I just. Um, 
did that. But on Friday, I will be doing um, I will be doing these guys for Halloween. So if you have a snowman cutter, you can you can make these also. I'm hoping to make them as simple as possible. I love the, the mouse. The mouse? Yes, I'm gonna try. Very nice, man. Can't wait to see. So it's Amber and Han on Friday. Hopefully and, uh, you can join us. If you missed our live on Friday, I did these uh, cute little nail polish piñata cookies for Amber. For her was birthday. Amber well? Amber's birthday was yesterday, but we did the yesterday, cookies for yes. her on Friday, so you can watch the replay if you're interested to see. And don't forget to tune in on my YouTube channel for a full new video on the gingerbread house, fall gingerbread house I showed you earlier today. It's a really nice one. I'm so pleased with that one. I'm never letting it go. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Happy Friday. Bye. Bye. -bye.